Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna talk about Hogwarts Legacy because the hits just keep on coming. Uh -huh. According to sales reports, it's become the first title to unseat Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 from the top spot on the charts. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy is already the best-selling game of 2023 in the US. Uh, it keeps on coming. It, and it's going to blow up even more once it hits last generation consoles. I think that's what's going to happen. I think it, we're going to hit, the people are like, I don't care anymore. We're going to hit a lull in the news. And then as soon as it comes out for those other systems, then the, the media is going to start ramping up the hate again. Yeah. We have to stop it. Well, that's what we're going to talk about because I think we basically stopped the second impact. We stopped Gamergate 2.0 from happening because leading up to the sales numbers being released, we knew there were all kinds of attacks, calls for mm -hmm. boycotts. And um, it's interesting. I, I found this article from about a month ago. Oh, for, for pity's sake. Literally calling for Gamergate to be reignited, basically. Gamergate never stopped. Um, and I think it's true because we saw how ridiculous, you know, gaming journos were. I think but. people, I think people like initially, I think that it's a, it's a culture shift because I think back when they started the first Gamergate and that's when a lot of the stuff started in Hollywood and, and that too, there was this idea that I don't want to be called that because that makes me a bad person. And they used to try to control people, people by calling them names, the isophobia, because if they would call someone that they'd be like, oh, I'm not, I'm not that. And then they'll back down. People are over it. They, they know it doesn't mean anything if you call them that now and no one believes it anymore. So um, the whole threat of well, your Gamergate, it's like, and everybody's just seen these outlets for what they are. Yeah, and I think this situation more than any other uh, game, any other single game has shown just how little normies pay attention to these gaming websites. We've seen a lot- they care of, anymore about their, their threats and their names. No, they don't, because it doesn't matter what you do. I mean, we've seen it. We've experienced it firsthand. You know, we were we were liberal. I still consider myself pretty liberal. And, you know, you still get attacked as being an alt-right We Nazi. never changed. The, the the system did. Yeah, pretty we're much. We're the same place we always were. Everything yeah. else just shifted way to the left. My politics are basically where they've been since I was in my 20s. Um, mm -hmm. I haven't really changed that much. Everybody else has changed. Everybody else has gone batshit crazy. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, but it's weird. Like, you go out to Google News now and... All the news about Hogwarts Legacy is basically just tips and tricks. You know, is there going to be some DLC? Uh, even the outlets that were... It's like they, they took the L and now they're just playing along. They, yeah. They, so each of these articles have like it, but we don't condone... No, not anymore. They're not doing it anymore. Because it did, because the other outlets didn't say that and it did nothing to them. Like nothing happened when they didn't, they, you know, give the virtue signal. Yeah, I mean, this pretty much called it. Uh, the Atlantic, and we did a video on that the other day, that they basically said, hey, this whole boycott thing, it backfired. Mm -hmm. So let's just talk about the damn game. She won. Let's talk about the game. So let's talk about the sales because uh, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. If you subscribe, Geeky will give you a woohoo. Woohoo. Yeah, there we go. Make Who sure you're still subscribed, please. Yeah. They please. keep unsubscribing people. I yeah, keep they do. from people that they keep getting unsubscribed. Yeah, people are like... They don't get notifications. They're like, yeah, I haven't seen your videos in like three months. It's like, did you guys die? It's like, no, you've been cranking out like three videos a day every day for the last three months. I just have not been seeing them. So yeah, make sure you uh, are still subscribed. This is coming from BossHunting.com. Hogwarts legacy sales blow past $1.2 in two weeks. Uh, so originally it was... Uh, Oh, okay. This is this is Australia. So 1.2 billion. We don't know what the numbers are actually at this point, but they said it's blown past um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And um, I don't know where this one's going to end. I mean, well, I guess that we haven't even had it out for the consoles most no. people have. I mean, it's only out for like what? Um, for the PlayStation 5, for the, you know, Xbox One, for the, um, is that what it is? Xbox One. Mm -hmm. For the uh, Steam, the computer stuff. It hasn't even come out yet for the consoles most people have. So uh, the 20 best-selling games of February 2023 in the U.S., Hogwarts Legacy is number one, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, uh, Dead Space, Madden, FIFA, Last of Us, Elden Ring. It's already, It blew past Elden Ring's like total sales very quickly. What's funny to me is come March, they look, aha, it's now number three. Ha, 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 ha. You, we're no, winning. It's like, no. Do, they're doing that already. <laughs> like, they're doing you, that already. You guys are so dumb. It hurts. And look, there are a lot of big games coming out this year. Uh, we have another Zelda coming out. We have Diablo 4 coming out. It's not going to stay number one. But I think overall, 
I mean, it's definitely the biggest hit for Warner Brothers games ever. Right. And that we're talking like Mortal Kombat. And again, and it's Batman probably the, it's going to go back up the sales charts as soon as it's out for the systems that have it. Yes. But, and then, like you said, they're the ones most people have. So it, what's going to happen is when that happens again, it's going to be interesting because now that the, the journos seem to be accepting that they've gotten their ass kicked and are just like doing their job now. Um, is, are, is there going to be anything else said about it or are they going to are the, are the activists going to try to ramp it up even harder again? Um, I when it boomerangs back around because it's going to boomerang back around. There, okay, so let me let me tell you a little trick here about how these websites work and why you see things come in waves. I mean, part of it is collusion behind the scenes. They hang out in discords together. A lot of the they, blogs are cross owned by the same company. A lot of so them, they're all yes. on the same slacks. They're all they're all owned by the same company. So you might have writers working on three or four different sites that are actually part of the same company, right? But beyond that. Uh, there, there is the AI element now. Some of these sites are actually using uh, different AI tools to tell them what to write about, whatever's trending right now on oh, Google. True. They've been. So what they'll do is they'll pick the keywords. And if there is interest, if there's more search interest in the Harry Potter game, then they're going to write more articles about it. So we're probably not going to see a lot more articles because it seems like the interest is starting to... I think it's still interest in it. I just think that the interest in reading what the, the reading articles about it has declined. Other than how do I beat this level? How do I get past this? What what are some different uh, extra things I can do? That kind of stuff people are always look for. But like, oh my god, J.K. Rowling, you know they're not they're not going to be doing. It. I spoke to you at the very end of this one one sentence. Read our in-depth article on how Rowling's comments have impacted the trans community. Oh, God, I'm so fucking tired of it. To Just charities, stop. To, oh, my God. It's, oh, you my know, God. And then when you say to them, where, did it, where, where is it killing people? They can't answer that. No. Um, yeah, so this is um, this is funny. This is this is true. Hogwarts Legacy is developed by Avalanche, the subsidiary of Warner Brothers. The game has been embroiled in controversy. No, wrong. The game has only been embroiled as you put it in controversy due to you guys at GameSpot and other woke media outlets who've been trying to create a controversy from day one. Mm -hmm. uh, meanwhile, you hardly say anything about how nations like China or Saudi Arabia profit deeply and are heavily invested in the video game That industry. is very true, actually, especially Saudi. They, there's a lot of Saudi companies that keep uh, buying in uh, to entertainment. And Embracer uh, Group, yeah. Yeah and, yeah, and video games is incredibly popular. So... Um, meanwhile, in Saudi Arabia, no, <laughs> that's a completely different. That's country. a completely different part of the the world. Yeah, over in Saudi Arabia. Uh, no, seriously though, the, he he's right. They're right. Um, and they failed. And this, so this is why we're seeing them kind of walk well, it back. What's this person going on about Gamergate? What? They're okay, okay, we so told you like, before. We told you before, like back when this whole thing started. You've been saying. They're going to try to bring Gamergate back. You were, you know, I know you were like one of the ones saying it first. Other people, other people quoted you and saying, I think Neon's right. They're yeah. going to try to bring Gamergate back because, you know, they need the attention and they need, the, they're not getting views. It's well, like the new Trump thing. Yeah. So we saw, we saw a pattern. Again, we, we look for patterns, you know, we, we run websites and you can kind of start to see patterns emerge. And we started to see more and more video game outlets leading up to this game being released talking about Gamergate out of the blue like Gamergate was kind of dead and buried for they years had the movies they were going to do which I think got canceled up. but they were oh, yeah. going to do yeah they that's were, what started us like hmm. like wait why are they doing a Gamergate movie and why is it a comedy and this is BuzzFeed was going to do I don't think it's happening now who knows but then we saw more well, of toxic gamers gamers are toxic oh your sons are going to be turned into alt-right Nazis if they play Fortnite. Well, how dare they as assume? I mean, what about your daughters? Maybe they'll be turned into... What, girls don't play games? Seriously? I'd expect better out of you journalists. Women aren't as toxic as men. They're born toxic. Oh, I, I, you know what? I beg to differ. I've been a girl my whole life, and I've been around girls. And girls can be the most cattiest, bitchiest, toxiciest bunch of hoe bags you've ever seen. So it basically, you know, it's talking about the back and forth. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I will say on, on some level, they're right. They're talking about how both sides kind of really ramped up the Gamergate drama or whatever. Here we go. Because they said, wait, after Trump lost, everyone brought in shares in Gamergate. Former Trump, Donald Trump advisor, Steve Bannon, saw his recruiting opportunity. Oh, God. He tried to capitalize on angry gamers. Um, oh, yeah. my God. They're still going with this shit? 
Yep. Um, so Democrat. Well, no, but, but then that's that's on one side. But then I, I will give him he's actually fair. Democrats and the liberal media also propped up Gamergate, turning it into a bewildering boogeyman, an origin story for right wing populism and the MAGA movement. So Trump was the Gamergate of Republican politics, asserted the Washington Post. Uh, the New York. Oh, yeah, here. New York Times topped a way too solemn fifth anniversary section for Gamergate with an essay titled Everything is Gamergate. The lesson of Gamergate is that there's a sinister power afforded to those brazen enough to construct their own false realities and foist them on others. Well, well, you know, New York Times would know. Yeah, New York Times is uh, the, an expert in in false narratives. Foisting them onto others. Foisting them onto others. Uh, so... Yeah, I, I think that there was a concerted effort. And then all of a sudden we started seeing like Anita Sarkeesian coming up again, all these Gamergate personalities that were off the radar for years. And then we had the perfect storm. They're like, we need we need something to unite everybody and it's going to be this damn game. Who says it? Sorry, Normies. There's no such thing as game over. Just a narrative that never stops evolving and reinventing itself. No, yeah, because people like you and these journalists, these journalism sites, these blog sites – won't let it stop. Like you guys keep keep it going. The ones who are keeping it going are you. That you're the ones who keep it going because you need to just to have enough clicks to keep your ass in business. I just think it's funny that um, actually this guy is pretty balanced. He said for those on the outside looking in, Gamergate felt jarring and it, it, deeply it, it stupid. Did. I mean, I didn't even really know about it till later, and then when I found out, about it, I'm like, this is just dumb. Yeah, but the look again, the media outlets needed to have that boogeyman because especially after Trump's out of office. They need something else to rally against. So they were going to, they were going to, I honestly think behind the scenes, there were some people working on trying to bring back a version of Gamergate, but they didn't have that one thing that would unite people in the cause. And, and, and then along came JK Rowling in her tweets and along came Hogwarts legacy. And the next thing you know, the developer, uh, Troy Levitt's getting basically ousted from the game. He shepherded. We've got uh, people getting fired from their jobs working in PR for a gaming company because of liking Hogwarts Legacy or saying they were looking forward to it. Uh, we had media outlets being shunned because they were in support of Hogwarts Legacy. We had all these outlets saying in lockstep they were going to boycott well, That's what they were trying to do. They were trying to reignite Gamergate. This is going to be their Gamergate moment. The problem is, is people aren't falling for it anymore. No. They're just not buying into it. They know the trick. They're not going to, they're not falling into your trap. She won. It's not even about her winning. I think everybody in general won. I think everybody won because this was ab- for them. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, they did. And now they're like, oh, shit, what are we going to do? Well, if you can't beat them, join them. So we're just going to write, you know, here, here's the soundtrack, guys. Here, you can uh, do Wait, puzzles. And- a player found a discovery after 140 hours. But I thought, but, but I thought they weren't playing it anymore. And, 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 the, and the playing time was down. And ha, 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 no one's playing this game anymore. But 140 hours later. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's just, and because of the renewed interest in Hogwarts Legacy, and I think a lot of it because of the the ginned up controversy. Yeah, they 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 created their own problem. Uh, J.K. Rowling is probably going to get a second chance at a Harry Potter series now, and she is not canceled. In fact, uh, Warner Brothers is thrilled to be working with her again. There is more uh, Harry Potter coming to Universal theme parks, which are going to do very very well because of Mario. Again, that was another thing the gaming journos. And the media tried to basically cancel because they were salty for reasons. And the biggest takeaway from Hogwarts Legacy is that gaming journalism doesn't matter anymore. That is the end all. But that is the takeaway from all of this. And they know it. They're they're admitting it. They're like, I mean, hell, the BBC had to apologize for the editor in chief of the gamer going on to a podcast and saying defamatory things about J.K. Rowling that yep. were not true. And it's it's, it's over. It's not going the way you thought it would. No, Hogwarts Legacy, it backfired. What, what, what's the uh, spell in Harry Potter where the, the wands that backfires on I don't remember. I don't remember either. Anyway, but... Uh, it's like that. Somebody's got to Google it right now. They're going to be like, that's what it is. And I'm a Harry Potter fan. I'm a clown fish. Yeah, whatever. Okay, whatever. Just put the comments. I read the books a long, a long time ago. And I watched the movies, but <laughs> it, was it was a long a prior, time ago. Priori and Cantum or something like I that. I don't know, I but... I'm just like saying that they were, they definitely were trying to, to leverage this to the end of Gamergate 2.0. They've been, yeah. they thought this was their hot damn, this is our moment. And I think 
you know, for me once, shame on you. For me twice, shame on me. Yes. People are just, they, they see it coming. They, they're so they're so tired. They already know if I don't agree with you on a cartoon, you're going to label me this stuff. Um, so, you know, I, I me, not, me wanting to play Harry Potter is going to get me labeled. And I effing don't care. I'm going to buy two copies just to tell you to fuck off. Yeah, I just think it's hilarious. A lot of these outlets that were against this game and they had these big manifestos. They still, that, like, are they still putting it in their articles? They put it in fine, but they, I think their publishers are probably telling them like, hey, people are searching for tips and tricks on Hogwarts Legacy. It's the highest selling game. You need to do your damn job and cover the game. Whether yeah. you like it or not, it doesn't matter. Your job is to bring traffic to this website or you're not gonna have a job. So go cover the effing game, shut up. You know, you can bitch about it on Discord or whatever. Don't buy it personally or whatever, but your job is to cover everything going on in gaming right now. It's a huge deal. And we'll see what happens. Yeah. I, I, I think what's how it's going to end is a lot of these websites are going to get shut down. Um, there, It's already happening. Don't just so. get rolled into each other. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're going to wrap it up? Yeah. Okay, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.